diplomacy should be the most human of all professions. And for him, diplomacy was about one human being at a time. As, as, as Bob said, he, he really drilled down. He had, of course, uh, uh, the, 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 the most uh, breathtaking Rolodex ever assembled by man. In the last two years of his life, I don't think we ever went for a walk in Central Park without a call coming in from Pakistan or a call going out from Richard's phone to Pakistan. That was how he approached his assignment. It was, Pakistan, for him, was, of course, the more important piece of the AFPAC uh, equation, the more dangerous and, and the one that he invested so much of himself in. One of his final trips was, was uh, after the floods in Pakistan, where, where, where Richard, no longer young, uh, you know, crawled into, into, into tents and, 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 heard, and, and heard the stories of, of the people displaced. Um, by those by those floods, and then he was he was able then to to represent those people. Richard Richard was about empowering those that others had written off. Not only people, but problems. Bob cited Congo as a as a as a quote on insoluble problem. Richard was drawn like like poo to honey, <laughs> mm -hmm. to insoluble problems. Mm -hmm. That was what he was, a, he, he was a problem solver. Uh, I think George Bernard Shaw had Richard in mind when he said that progress is made by unreasonable men. Richard was unreasonable <laughs> in pursuit of solving problems and, and in pursuit of giving people, whether, whether in, in refugee camps or under Serb gunners giving people their, their humanity back.